Hey there, Ventex here, and welcome back to another episode of Phasmophobia. Today we're going to be doing a professional difficulty at the Edgefield Street House. I already added our equipment, so we're going to ready up and go ahead and get started. See what we can find here. Don't believe we did one of these yet. No, we did a couple farmhouses on professional and Tanglewood Street, but this house I don't believe so. This is a six-bedroom house, so it might be more difficult. Okay, Nancy Miller responds to everyone. That's good, no reports of violence or sightings. The difficulty is going to get a photo of the ghost, dirty water, motion sensor should be easy. We're going to start with our thermometer, handy dandy thermometer. We'll also grab our book, hopefully find it quick. Okay, since it is professional, we'll go ahead and start putting our stuff on the porch. I know it's a little dark right now, just bear with me while I get stuff set up. Now, typically if I was with a group, I probably wouldn't be doing this, but because we're by ourselves, every second counts. Got our motion sensor, camcorder, actually. With the camcorders, I need to turn that on and put it on the tripod, which I have two. I should have two. Yeah, there is two. Okay, let's grab that as well. So we have one camcorder and tripod. We'll put it right here. We have the UV light. Shine it towards our stuff. Smudge sticks isn't a thing this time, but I did bring lighters, unlike the last two times. One it wasn't, the other video it was. Now we're prepared either way. EMF reader. That's going to be some evidence we need. Uh, let's bring another crucifix and spirit box, and then we got our camera for some photos. Hopefully we can get a photo of the ghost and photo of dirty water. Okay. There we go. Alright, so let's grab our thermometer to start and our spirit book and let's go find the spirit. And when you're solo, best indicator is sound. I'm going to listen. Heard a door slam. Sounds like upstairs. one of these rooms. Just heard a footstep too. Was it this one? Pretty sure it's this one. Yep, look that door slightly ajar. Lots of creaks. Put our book down. Definitely that room. Okay, the good news is we got a lot of places to hide. Let's turn on the light, preserve our sanity. Grab these keys. I don't think they'll make the car alarm go off, but they do. I don't want to be anywhere near that. Let's grab our crucifix and our camera. There we go. I have to have an empty hand out. Okay, so it's going to be here. Drop this right there. Crucifix right in the middle of the room. Give it the best area. Grab the key. Why not? A few other things we'll need. Let's grab the motion sensor and the spear box. The 
motion sensor right here. Try to use a spirit box, see if we can get anything. Where are you? How old are you? Okay. So we know we got the spirit box. We'll go ahead and put that in. All right. A few more pieces of evidence. We can use the EMF reader and the black light, the UV light. It has been messing with doors and stuff, so we might catch something on the UV. Flicking light switches. That's not what the light goes right there. Oh. See, it's messing with these doors a lot. So far, nothing on the UV. But it is very active with these doors. The motion sensor should be done now. Put that right there for now. Okay, so we got ghost riding right there. We're gonna go grab our photo camera. All right. While we grab our photo camera, let's look at our objectives. We definitely got the motion sensor. Photo of ghost, photo of dirty water. Let's look at our camera. It's set up in there, but we can't see because the light's on. So we're going to go in there with our camera. Get that light turned off. Hopefully we can catch a photo. Not trying to anger it right now. It is professional. I'm just trying to get some evidence. Can you turn on the sink? Can you turn on the sink? Can you give me a sign? Where are you? open up this door because if it comes we'll want to hide where are you give me a sign let's try the UV again nothing yet let's turn the light off and go look for spirit orbs keep our camera out in case it does show up Alright. Two pieces of evidence. Look at the activity. Very active boy. Our sanity is at 80. Not too bad. Looks for a ghost orb real quick. So far I'm not seeing anything. Usually ghost orbs are pretty active on there. Lights are flickering. Okay. Alright, so what are we dealing with then? We got spirit box and we got ghost writing. So it's either going to be a spirit or a demon or an oni. EMM, EMF 5 would be a oni. Fingerprints would be a spirit. Ghost orb's nothing, so it's not going to be a ghost orb. Freezing temperatures would be a demon. I don't see it's freezing. Right now I'm leaning on the side of an oni. But it could also be a spirit. Alright, so let's go back in there. We're going to use that EMF reader. See if we can get a 5 on there. It's pretty active, so I want to say Oni. Where is my EMF? Here it is. Okay. Three right now, throwing the candles around. That's not very polite. Uh, we might want to grab another crucifix and put it out in the hallway so we can cover everything. Here it is.
All right, that should cover that whole area. Okay. Let's see if we can get an EMF five. Uh, one other thing, I need to check is the name of the spirit. I know I checked it before I started, but been too busy setting everything up that I forgot what it is. So let's get a quick peek. Nancy Miller. Alright, so we'll go in there and try to anger her. See what we can do. Hopefully we get EMF 5 and confirm what type of ghost it is. Nancy Miller. Nancy Miller, give me a sign. Nancy Miller. Nancy Miller, where are you? Some lights flickering around in here. Nancy Miller, where are you? Just getting some doors ready to run into if I need to hide. Nancy Miller, where are you? Nancy Miller. Nancy Miller. Just threw a cup down. The phone's vibrated a few times. Probably moved some of my other stuff too. The book had it was closer on there. I saw her throw these candles and cups down. Nancy Miller. Three in here. Nancy Miller, where are you? Hey, there you are. Okay. That scared me. You looking good, Nancy. Really, only a two for apparition. Nancy Miller, where are you? Let's grab this. So, so far it's not getting below really 10 degrees. Let's check in a year. I might want to bring that crucifix from the hall into this room. I have one in both rooms. Should cover a decent area. It's eight. Let's grab an EMF again. Nancy Miller. Nancy Miller, where are you? She sounds like she's in here now. Nancy Miller, give me a sign. Try to stop moving so much so we can hear. Nancy Miller, where are you? Okay. Turn off lights. Flashing lights. Nancy Miller, where are you? Give me a sign. Show yourself. Nancy Miller. Nancy Miller, show yourself. Give me a sign. Turn on the sink. Nancy. Nancy Miller. Nancy Miller, turn on the sink. Nancy Miller, turn on the sink. Give me a sign. Nancy Miller, show yourself. Let's make us more exits for myself so I can hide in there. Oh, I thought she was hunting. I was gone. 
Nancy Miller, where are you? Sounds like from here to Nancy Miller, where are you? I heard a step. Nancy Miller. Nancy Miller, where are you? What else could it be? Fingerprints? Could be a spirit. Where's my black light? Let me check the black light again. Because she is pretty active with the doors and everything. But I feel like I would have seen something by now. When it comes to fingerprints, with how active she is. So far, I haven't gotten a single print. That's why I'm leaning on the side of Oni. Onis are out also very active. Nancy Miller. Yeah, three. Need to make sure my flashlight's on so that way I can understand if she's hunting. Crucifixes are still here in both rooms, so I'm not too scared yet. Nancy Miller. Right here. Nancy Miller. Where are you? Give me a sign. Nancy Miller, give me a sign. Nancy Miller, where are you? Four. That's pretty good. Pretty sure we can say it's a five. Nancy Miller. Nancy Miller. Yes. Thank you. Let's fill it up. Okay. All right. I know what it is. She shut all the doors on me. Okay. I'm pretty sure I know what it is. I think that crucifix saved my life. Let's go look at our objective board. We got a photo of her. We got a photo of the dirty water. We know what it is. We got the motion sensor. So we completed all our objectives. We had a 10 activity right there. It's got to be an Oni. Final answer. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Did we complete everything? We got good sanity too for a professional quest. Come on. What? What was it? A demon? The temperatures weren't freezing at all. $150 still, 120 experience. Pretty crazy there. The shadow got me and then the breath at the end was it. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.